Today we're gonna take a look at the new procedural science add-on. Nothing screams Night City, Cyberpunk and Nightlife better than the sight of a neon sign. You could safely say that neon signs are the cornerstone of any Night City space scene, and none give that bustling nightlife vibe better than fluorescent, buzzing, flickering and dazzling signs. Alright, that was a lot of adjectives. But this add-on from Diffuse Studio, if not perfect by any means, I think it is a great contender for the Geoscience add-on that was released recently. So let us know in the comment section below and while you're at it, please hit that like button and the subscribe button down below because it is completely free and you won't miss our next videos. So procedural signs, what is it? This add-on is a way for you to create any type of neon sign simply by picking a type and adjusting some presets. This is so much easier than creating everything from scratch as it allows you to pick between multiple types of signs and adjust what feels like an infinite amount of settings and options, which will change depending on the type of sign you are trying to make. For instance, you can adjust the text of course and the font and the scale of the text itself and since the tool is procedural and built on top of geometry nodes, you don't have to scale everything manually. Every part of the sign will scale up or down depending on the scale of the text or any given element. You can also adjust the neon color, emission strength, and how many cuts separate the actual lights. Also, did I mention that most of the signs can be animated? That's right. It will depend on the type of the sign, but flickering and scrolling signs can be adjusted through the animation section with a lot of control as well, which is something that can save you a ton of time, especially if you are trying to add a lot of those to your scene. Other than that, you can adjust the base settings, which pertain to the sign itself or what the neon text is attached to. So you can adjust the type, depth, bevel, base color, how much it is worn out, the border light, and a lot more. Also, no neon sign is complete without some wires going through different segments and here you can control how many electric wires are in the sign and how much the actual wires are sagging and so on. I would add, you can adjust the mount or how the sign is mounted on the wall. Again, you can adjust multiple settings like the type, count, scale, how far it is from the wall, etc. Now, let's slow down and let's not get ahead of ourselves. Starting from the beginning. After installing the add-on, which will be similar to any Blender add-on, with the only difference being that you have to point the procedural science assets folder in the add-on settings. After you do that, you will find the add-on in the end panel of your viewport. The add-on offers six types of signs, which are big screens, billboards, channel signs, LED screen, light signs, and neon. Each type is denoted by a different image, so it is very easy to figure out which one you want. Each one of these types also has different ways to create it. For example, Neon has three ways to create from text, from SVG files, or you can draw them manually, which will allow you to draw anything you want using the freehand spline tool. Pro tip, if you want to add a line break, you can use the vertical line character. Also, you can use different fonts in the same size and you can control the shape of the sign by bending it in any direction. Finally, as we mentioned before, you can easily animate the sign and you can easily choose between 5 animation presets. On the SVG mode, you can import your own designs. So if you have a design that you want to turn into a sign, this is the easiest way to do so. On a side note, when creating your design in Illustrator or any other software, the procedural sign add-on will consider any open stroke as a neon light and any closed ones as the base of the sign, so keep that in mind. So guys, if you are interested in this add-on, you can find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.